today we're going to demonstrate the uh, meter creep test on a bobtail. And we do the meter creep test to check the leak tightness of the main internal valve or belly valve, some people call it. Um, we want to check it to make sure that it seals off tight when it's in the closed position. And utilizing the meter as a testing device, we can achieve this. This is one method. We're going to establish flow through the meter. We will close the internal valve and monitor the register for 30 seconds and make sure that it stops counting. It must stop counting within 30 seconds and must not creep anymore uh, within five seconds after it stops. So I'm going to start the truck and we'll uh, insert a ticket into the printer so that the meter will let product flow through it and then we'll check this one. So whenever we're working with propane, we want to make sure we're taking the safety precautions to keep us safe. I've got my wheel chocks down. I've made sure that the emergency shutoff is in the pump position. And so now we can hook up the delivery nozzle to the spray fill line and we'll uh, establish flow through the meter. All right, now I'm ready to uh, start the PTO and do this meter creep test. I'm gonna open my internal valve. I'll reset the register. And now I'm ready to start. I've established flow now. We can do this test at engine idle. We don't have to ramp it up on high throttle. We can do it at idle. I'll close the internal valve and we'll monitor the register. And it stopped in about 10 seconds and it did not have any meter creep after it stopped, so it passes. <laughs> 